question, we actually have another one from Javita who's joining us via Polycom in Canada. Welcome, Javita. Thank you for having me on the show, me and hey. my son. You're very We're welcome. happy to have both of you. What's going on? Uh, my son has a strawberry hemangioma on the side of his ear, just at the top there. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering um, if he has a blood supply to it. Well, it, it is a vascular lesion. In fact, it's the most common vascular malformation the kids get. And this is a pretty good size one. Mm -hmm. yes, and absolutely. to answer your question, I mean, it, it definitely has a blood supply, but in most of these cases, they are going to regress to go away on their own. And, you know, as we can see on, on your baby, why it's called a strawberry angioma because it has the consistency and the color of a uh, of a strawberry. Mm -hmm. yeah, and as Dr. Orden mentioned, these are vascular malformations or, or kind of proliferations, excessive capillaries. They're much more common in premature babies, uh, multiple birth babies, and often in older mothers as well. So we actually think that part of the reason this happens is that in utero, there's less oxygen to those babies. And as a result, you get this multiplication of the blood vessels after birth. They're often not present right at birth, but they continue to grow for the first year. So this may continue to grow. And his looks like it's maybe three to four centimeters right now, but I think if it reaches about five centimeters, then that's considered a larger hemangioma, and that should be evaluated by a mm -hmm. physician. Now, Javita, I see these a lot, you know, in the pediatric okay. office, and uh, I know it looks scary, but you could kind of relax a little bit because only about 1% of these ever really cause significant problems. And one sign you can watch for uh, is when the center of it starts to kind of turn whitish, kind of lose that red color, then you know it's entering that resolution phase, they call it, and then it's going to start getting smaller. That's such, and, such a good mm -hmm. point. Dr. Sears, that depending, it, most you just leave alone, yeah. but if they're around any opening in the body and the ear is one of those, you want to watch that, especially if it's pushing, bending on the ear, then you would want to seek treatment. Yeah. And they do respond well to steroid treatments. Exactly. So the key things to watch for are hemangiomas near the eye or in the throat, larger ones mm -hmm. that might affect the airway. Um, we already talked about the five centimeter size, but I can't emphasize enough, 50% of these go away by age 5, and 90% go away by age 9. And so usually they do cosmetically look much better by age 10 to 12 or so. And even when they resolve, when they kind of shrink back down, they sometimes look a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit flatter or more depressed than the surrounding skin, at which point cosmetically they can always be addressed. Thank you, Javita. We appreciate it. Thank Bye, you, Dr. Bob. We really appreciate you being here today, you so helping us out.